So hello, in this video I'm going to try making some erythrosine, which is a pinkish dye. And you can see here, that's a previous batch I did. And erythrosine is tetraiodofluorescine. You can see how I made fluorescein in the previous video. The erythrosine is used as a food additive, as coloring. And we are going to make it from iodine, sodium bicarbonate and some fluorescein. So you will need about one gram of fluorescein, half a gram of uh, sodium bicarbonate and about 1.5 uh, grams of iodine. So the reaction is driven by sodium bicarbonate and all the erythrosine is going to be turned into the sodium salt. So yeah, I'm going to mix the sodium bicarbonate and fluorescein and I'm going to weigh out some iodine and also I will use some ethanol as a solvent. There goes the iodine and I'm going to just submerge it in ethanol. Okay, now we're going to heat the mixture on a hot plate. So I just didn't want to set up a reflux column and just pour it down into a new flask so I just set up this uh, simple reflux going with a, a cold water flask on the top as you can see it's condensing and I will let it reflux for some time so it has been reflexing for like uh, 40 minutes and I'm going to add water to this and uh, excess iodine is going to fall out of solution. I'm not sure why there's iodine falling out of solution because I used a stoichiometric amount of iodine. But when I add water, you will be able to see I'm not sure if it's the dye or not. I don't know. I'm going to vacuum filter it anyway because this is getting really weird. So this old uh, erythrosine I got and surprisingly it wasn't wasn't actually in the filter uh, filtered solution. It was actually in the filtered. So that was, that was kind of surprising because I was expecting to be uh, to iodine be in the filtered, but this is definitely uh the uh, erythrosine. I mean, I'm not even sure because it's more orange than cherry red. I mean, it stains uh, everything pink, which is about right, but I will show you its solution. So, I'm going to put some sodium carbonate to convert it to the salt because apparently. I was expecting to the, uh, for the sodium bicarbon bicarbonate to turn all the erythrosine produced in a salt and that's why it would be soluble in water. Well, uh, that didn't happen apparently for I don't know what reason. Uh, so th this re reaction is really weird, it's really strange, I really don't know what was going on for the most part and uh, yeah, if you got more info please share it with me because I would like to know uh, how is it actually done so there's the bicarbonate solution uh, I mean a uh, carbonate solution as you can see it's definitely orange which is uh, strange I, I think maybe it's supposed to be like that not really sure about it and also I got some erythrosine here and it's from the previous batch and it's more pink now and I don't know why this is pink and why this is orange this is really confusing to me mm, maybe this is not actually a erythrosine but uh, some 2 iodo fluorescein uh, yeah I have no idea at all but I have made some kind of dye right really strange well, it's kind of pink, pinkish orange. Maybe that's because there's still some leftover uh, fluorescein in there. And yeah, that might be it. I think that might be a good reason why why we got our 
orange product and this is apparently uh, more pure erythrazine uh, than the one that I did okay let's try to stain something like cotton with it yeah it's definitely more uh, pinkish yeah that's that's more like it that's more like it so I will try to work out how to purify it from the fluorescein as you can see it's drying right now yeah yeah I, I may purify it in the future but uh, this synthesis works L really annoying yeah I don't recommend it well if you have a paper that says how to exactly make it then it's probably easy uh, but just doing it exper uh, experimentally you will have to have a lot of patience um, and a lot of uh, fluorescein and iodine <laughs> and I don't have much fluorescein left and I just want to save it uh, so yeah that's probably it for this video I'm pretty tired uh, yeah see ya hope you enjoyed it